Guys, did you think that was me? Do you want to know where I am? I'm at a lodge outside the Nairobi National Park. This is not my short-term stay, and this is not my long-term stay. I've pretty much moved to Kenya. So why a lodge? Because planning a move to Kenya with my dog took so much out of me. I'm gonna be staying six months in Kenya, one month in the US. Six months in Kenya, one month in the US. Rinse and repeat for the next five years. So before I get into making all the cool videos about Kenya and all the trouble that I tend to get into, I needed some me time. So this is my me time. Total relaxation away from people is the order of the day. Let's have a look. So as I mentioned, I am right outside the Nairobi National Park. Look at this. I'm on a private property, and who doesn't need a little bit of this in their life? This is nature for the soul. I cannot get enough of this. And Q's has peed on every bush on this property. <laughs> so this private property has electrical fencing all around it. So you might see the occasional wild animal outside. But because of the fence, I'm not worried that Q's is venturing out without me. And now he's pooping. Can you believe that? He's, he's just ready. He's just camera ready all the time. Okay, hold on. I gotta go pick it up. Let's head inside. Okay, I asked if this house is for sale. It's not, but I wish it was. Look how beautiful it is. Amazing. So the first thing you see is this jaw-dropping deck. You know that I am all about outdoor living. I have spent my entire time pretty much out here. In fact, when I came in from a 14-hour flight, I passed out on that couch right there for several hours. It was spectacular. This is a man-made watering hole that they put in here because when there was a drought and the animals needed water, they would open up that gate and some of the wild animals would come in and drink out of this watering hole. Amazing. Again, I made sure the gate was locked before I came here. Guys, if you like to grill, they have a grill. They have this big oven here. They have all the spices and condiments that you would need. You can actually spend the entire day out here and you won't get hit by the sun because it's all covered, but there's a nice breeze going to keep you cool because inside the house, it's actually pretty hot, which is good at night because of course it gets cold in Nairobi at night. Since we're on vacation, we're keeping our cooking to a minimum. So we won't be using the barbecue or the kitchen, but the great thing about this lodge is they have a private chef that can come and create an entire menu for you. Whether it's Indian food, vegetarian, Kenyan, you name it, they got it. All right, guys, check out the inside of this house. All I can say is I found my dream home. And I hear that he comes with the house. We love open floor plans. So you have a kitchen here, opens into a living room, and then further out is a TV room. And there are a couple surprises that I have for you down there. And then a bedroom on that side, a bedroom on that side. And what I love about this kitchen is that while you're cooking your meals, you could be enjoying the beautiful view. So we have a full stove here. We have a sink, you can wash your hands. Of course, uh, microwave, water heater, we have a radio. You gotta love the Kenyan artifacts on the wall. The knives display here. Guys, even though this is a lodge, this is a fully modern kitchen. I love it. What I particularly love in the morning is this coffee and tea bar. 
They have everything you need. They are serious about coffee. I love my coffee in the morning and using this coffee bar to make it is just, it feels meditative. And then you have your dining room table here. But guys, I'm never gonna sit here because I have that patio. Again, outdoor living is the life for me. I don't know about you, but when I think of a lodge, I think of leather. Leather couches where you can curl up and read a book. I mean, great selections here. This lodge comfortably sleeps six people. There are two bedrooms on this wing of the home with a beautiful bathroom that is shared and can be accessed from both rooms. And on this wing of the home, on the other side, is the master suite. Check this out. The first thing that caught my attention about this master suite is the wall-to-wall -wall glass with amazing views. I immediately envisioned what's it gonna be like in the morning when I wake up to this view. All right guys, when you're in this lodge, you don't need to go far to feel like you're in heaven. You come right out of bed, into the couch, sip your coffee while enjoying this view. Or you can hang out on this second patio and take in the fresh air. Hey buddy, having fun? Having fun, having fun. All right guys, the master suite bathroom is a statement. This coral apparently is from the Indian Ocean. You have a bathtub right under the window overlooking this beautiful view. A beautiful open shower with some plants and a sink area over there. And the best part is the light that comes out from the ceiling. And of course, Q's has his own master suite. So here's a TV room. And the TV is hidden behind this map of the world. It's so cozy. So the great thing about this lodge is that when you come out here, you're not really going anywhere else, right? You're just spending most of your time here. So in the evening, when you want to just chill and wind down, you can have your favorite alcoholic beverage from this whiskey bar, or you could have a nice glass of wine from this wine cellar. These were one of the things that attracted me to this lodge. And so it's great that I get to experience it. All right, this Mzito was told I'm not allowed to go down these stairs because apparently there's a weight limit. So I had to get someone to get me a bottle of wine, but it's still a spectacular feature. My stay at Sagi Jaja has come to an end and these are the people that made it memorable. We have Doris right here, who took care of us in the house. We have Richard playing with cues, another Richard. And then we have Joseph. Joseph. Joseph, Joseph. who took care of us as well. Thank you so much for making it memorable. Appreciate it. Welcome. Take care. My dog is a rock star. Yeah. Rock star. All right guys, so this is Peter, our driver. He brought us from the airport to Sagi Jaja in some kind of interesting terrain. I'll show you some videos of cars getting stuck and stuff, but he's a master driver in this Land Rover. 
and uh, he's gonna take us to our next destination. And so you guys should check him out when you're in Kenya. QZ, up up. Yeah. All right, guys, we're driving away and uh, we have a Maasai leading us to the gate. <laughs> I really enjoyed my stay here, but enough relaxation. Let's head to our next stay in the heart of Nairobi.